This is Brad Linder with Little Feuding, and I'm here with Andy Clipsham of HP. And we're looking at a uh, prototype here, which is yep. sort of a technical demo, uh, a demonstration of uh, HP Netbook, run or Smartbook, uh, with a Qualcomm Snapdragon processor and Google Android. Uh, no plans to bring this to market just yet, but it is the first device we've seen with this combination. What can it do? Okay, so I'll talk about this. Like you said, it's Android-based on the Snapdragon chipset, so it's ARM-based technology with the 3G modem built in. Uh, and like you'd expect with Android, we have a touch screen. Um, you can do things that you'd expect to be able to do with Android. But with this netbook, we've built it from the ground up to be an Android type device. You notice we've eliminated the F row, we've eliminated the Windows key, we've got menu, back and home. So it's designed for the Android operating system. Very thin, uh, we don't have to have a fan to keep the chip cool, so it's very silent, doesn't get hot in your lap. Um, you notice the UI, we've done some tweaks for it to be on the, the larger screen. We've added this launcher strip around the bottom, which stays with you as you move. Uh, you'll see some of the things we've added. We've had a file manager, because we have internal memory and an SD card, so you can swap things around. Uh, you can do messaging, browser. I can go to, a, let's say, the Facebook site. And you'll notice as it's pulling up, we've got a variety of, ta we've got tabs browsing is what we've added, so you can make use of the full UI. Is it um, um, the built-in Android uh, web browser? It's the or? same browser. We've enhanced it a little bit, but we've also then tweaked the UI. Uh, other things, we, we worked with uh, Quick Office in order to be able to do Word and Excel documents, PowerPoint, those types of things. Uh, editing or just viewing? Uh, so this one right now only has editor, but, sorry, only has viewer, but we're working on the edit te uh, technology. Um, we've worked on a new uh, photo browser, so we, you know, I see my pictures came up. Uh, we worked on this new UI for uh, a way to demonstrate your pictures that you've loaded on the device. You know, you can be able to shift through your pictures quickly and show them to friends. Um, Let's see, what else have we done? We've worked on the music app in order to make use of the full screen so I can I can flip through all my picture, my uh, songs, sorry. Uh, I can play some Rolling Stones if you want, what have you. I'm going to stop that and go, sorry, we've added global mute, what have you. So we've added some tweaks just to think like a netbook, taking the Android operating system and, and applying it. Can it uh, handle applications from uh, uh, the Android market? So we don't actually have the Android market itself, but if, you ha if you're able to get an app onto the device, uh, if most apps will run. Certain things like the screen real estate is a little bit different. So um, say you had a calculator app that on a phone just had little tiny buttons. On here, it would have larger buttons. So you'd want to tweak the UI in order to work on this product, or leave it as it is. It works. But um, also little things like we don't have a vibrating motor, because you're not going to put this in your pocket. So uh, if your app made use of a vibrating motor, you'd have to tweak that a little bit. But other than that, yeah, it's the same. Do you imagine as uh, more companies start coming out with devices like this, that the Android market might have sort of a smart book section that has could, applications for it? Could be possible, yeah. That would be excellent if it did. Take a little bit of work off, uh, off of HP's folders. Yeah. Um, and so, um, let's take another quick look here. So we've got the buttons. Uh, so we say all-day computing, so sort of 12 hours use worth of, of uh, usage is what we're, we're working on right now. But and, th and that doesn't count if you close it up and it's... Uh, yeah, it, we'll have to work on what our number is for standby, if you will. It'll be in the, no in, in the day's realm, because it, uh, you know, there's no voice capability, so that allows for it also to, to be a little bit different in terms of standby and what have you. Now, obviously, you guys put a lot of work into the, um, the UI design here. Um, can we infer anything from that, or? Uh, well, it's just to get to understand what's possible, to learn, you know, what's expected. You know, so Android doesn't have a cursor, right? So would people, when they first turn on the device, would they go, well, why don't I have a cursor? And so it's, that's why we do these technology demonstrations in order to learn what is what would the market really want to see. Okay. And so, so you're going to watch the market like for now yourself, and whether we get to see feedback and we, we make some decisions after that. Thank you very much. No problem.